Hello there. Welcome back to the Apollo Solar Giza Installation Online Training, Part 3 of the Frame Assembly video series. We will now go through a demonstration on flat roof frame assembly. All the components will be the same, however now we'll be making use of a few more parts that weren't used during the pitch roof assembly. Namely the side diagonal brace and front and back foot pieces. You'll notice that the top half of the frame is assembled identical to the pitch roof. The main difference will occur from the back legs. Keep in mind that throughout the assembly of the frame, first hand tighten all the nuts to bolt. Then once the entire frame is erect, use two 40mm spanners to fully tighten all the nuts and bolts around the frame. To recap how the top half of the frame was assembled, first we need to connect the two front legs with horizontal crossbars. Take note that the front horizontal brace will have an extra two set of holes towards the ends of the bar as compared to the rear upper horizontal brace. Balance one of the legs upright. Remember the concave side must be facing towards the middle. Align both holes on the upper end of the front leg and then attach the brace with nuts and bolts. It may help to have another person hold it steady for you while you do this. For this flat roof assembly, the bottom vertical support legs would not have been attached as yet. Repeat the process on the other end of the brace and with the remaining leg. Remember to insert the bolt from the top and tighten the nut from the underside. Afterwards, the legs should be able to remain upright by themselves. Next up, we reinforce the top horizontal brace with the triangle pieces. One triangle piece on each end. Have the 90 degree right angle of the triangle facing upwards and flush against the inner side leg. That way the concave side of the triangle will be facing towards where the tank would rest. Align all three holes on the ends of the triangle along the leg and horizontal brace. Remember to attach the bolts from the outer side and screen the nuts from the inner side. As can be seen in the demonstration, sometimes it's easier to tighten the lower bolt and rotate the triangle into place then slot the upper two bolts from above and tighten the nuts from below. Repeat this on the other side. Now, move straight on to the front diagonal brace, which is the same length as the rear diagonal brace, but will have the distinct difference of only having two holes on the ends. This piece is used to reinforce the front horizontal brace to the front legs. Fit the diagonal brace underneath the corresponding holes on the front horizontal brace and front legs. Notice how the concave side is facing down and the smooth side of the brace fits underneath. Place the bolt on from the top and tighten the nut from the bottom. Repeat on the other leg. When positioning the vacuum tube support, make sure the wider gap is positioned on the bottom of the frame. This is the correct position. If the wider gap is at the top, then it is incorrect. Align the holes on the ends of the tube support with the top two holes on the legs. Insert bolt from the top and tighten nut from the underside. The lowest hole on the leg should be kept open for pitch roof assembly. A 
attaching the back legs for vertical support. Once the top half of the frame is complete, we will move on to the main differences between pitch roof and flat roof assembly. You may need a second person to assist lifting the top half of the frame into place to attach the back legs. Make sure the concave side of the back legs are facing towards the middle. Align the two holes at the top of the wider side of the back legs with the first two holes along the lower edge of the tank support front legs. Insert the bolts from the top and tighten the nuts from the bottom. Once the back legs on the other side has been attached, the frame should be able to stand independently. There are two pieces of the side diagonal braces in the shape of a trapezium, with two holes on each end, which gives added support to the front and back legs. Remember to position the braces in a way that the concave side must be facing the middle. Here it is advisable to have another person assist in aligning and holding the pieces in place as you screw in the nuts and bolts on the front and back legs respectively. It is your own preference which way you would like to insert the nuts and bolts. Repeat on the other set of legs. This is the lower rear horizontal brace. Notice how it has a wide flat side with four holes and a narrow curved side. This brace is attached on the bottom most hole along the straight vertical edge of the back legs. Take care as noted here, one must fit this brace with the wide flat side being flush against the extended edge and on the inside of the vertical legs. The curved side of the brace must be on top to prevent the water from collecting inside the curve. Insert the bolt from the outside and tighten from the inside. Repeat on the other end of the brace. Now we will move on to the upper horizontal brace. Again, Notice that this bar only has 4 sets of holes instead of 6 as compared to the top horizontal brace. This brace fits on the outside of the back legs. Align with the two holes on both ends of the brace with the upper two holes on the back vertical leg. Insert bolt from the back and attach nut from the inner side. Repeat this on the other end of the brace. You should sit at eye level when you are kneeling behind the frame. Take note, the rear diagonal brace has three holes. This piece is used to reinforce the upper rear horizontal brace to the back legs. One end will then align with the last remaining hole on the leg piece. Note that the flat side of the diagonal brace sits on the inside of the leg and upper horizontal brace. It is your own preference which end of the rear diagonal brace you want to tighten first. Insert the bolts from the outside and tighten the nuts from the inside. Repeat this on the other leg.
Unlike in the pitch frame assembly where the foot support was attached directly to the frame, in the flat roof assembly, the foot pieces are attached to the foot support first before being fastened to the main frame. Make sure the foot support concave side is facing downwards. Align the two holes on the rectangular side of the small foot pieces with the two holes on the foot support. Insert the bolt from the top and tighten the nut on the underside. When placing the foot support in place, lift the frame slightly. Slide the foot support underneath the leg so that the foot pieces sits perpendicular and flush against the outside leg. Attach bolt from the outside and screen nut from the concave side of the leg. Reposition the foothold appropriately if necessary. Repeat the above steps on the remaining three corners. Now the framework is complete, all that is left is to attach the tube holders. Putting the tube holders into place is simple. Open side will face up and pointy side will be facing down. Slot in the top clip first, then push downwards until the bottom clips in. We go from side to side to ensure it is securely in place. Repeat all the way through for however many tubes you have. The tube holders are found in the triangle-shaped boxes wedged between the tank and the outer packaging which holds the Apollo Solar Giza tank. Thank you for watching this series on frame assembly. See, See you, you next, next time! time.